Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Mr. Carmichael, you help us out with prayer this morning. Sure. I pray out loud. Let's all pray together silently. Heavenly Father, we're so uh, thankful for this new day. We rejoice in it. We recognize that uh, you're our creator, God, and uh, you're in control. You're a sovereign Lord. We think that we can be uh, submissive to your will. Seek your will this morning. Seek your wisdom. Uh, thanks for all these uh, board members and uh, for Yolanda and Terry and for all they do to push our county forward. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for our blessings and uh, appreciate our, our military and our troops. Lift them up to you this morning. Pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to call the order and recognize our elected officials. Thank you for coming, Barney. Dave Carmichael. And I do see Todd back there somewhere. Hey, Todd. All right. All right, we're going to welcome our new member, Michael Mason. Uh, Michael, good to have you. Thank you. Won't you tell us a little bit about your I moved to the county in 2003 and was one of the out commuters in Midtown Atlanta. Glad to work here locally and start in 2011 as a uh, local attorney and I have a real estate development company. Uh, been a member of the chamber for a while, the Bar Association president there, was asked to serve as interim chamber president and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to do that and I uh, understood that automatically puts me here. So <laughs> thanks and uh, appreciate the opportunity to work with you all here. Thank you. Well, we appreciate you buddy. And, uh, it doesn't pay very good, you know, you get a bottle of water every month. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. And, uh, but anyway, glad to have you, brother. Uh, anybody had a chance to look over the minutes from last month? Any discussion about it? All in favor? How about the financial statement? Anybody got any questions about that? That's most we approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, Jerry, what's your report? <clears throat> that was so fast I didn't have time to get ready. <laughs> okay, first thing I want to do as part of the director's report is I just want to read a social media statement just so everybody is clear on where this board stands relative to social media. And this will be read into the minutes, so it will be a, a part of our minutes. The Baldwin County Airport Authority respects the freedom of speech that we all enjoy as citizens of this country. The authority represents the rights of all to use that freedom either to support or oppose the authority's activities and decisions. Neither the authority nor the Paulding Northwest Atlanta Airport maintains discussion boards or participates in discussion on social media outlets. Only those proceedings that result from our public meetings, official communications from the authority and or its director, and official minutes represent the views or actions of the authority. Okay, so now for the director's report. Um, this month we took on, or the FBO did on our, our behalf, 3,458 gallons of Jet A. That brings our total for the year to 11,343. Uh, so still a little short of our 200,000 gallon goal that we're shooting for, but um, had a pretty good month nonetheless. Total based aircraft, last month we reported 13, we're up four. We have 17 based aircraft today. Uh, we have leased uh, three positions in the large hangar for a total income of approximately $1,000 gross. So that brings our total monthly lease income at the airport to 3,000 against our $10,000 goal. So we're moving in the right uh, direction. And the only announcement today is that the town hall is going to be a called meeting today at 1.30. Hope all the members and the public especially can be there. That will be at the airport. I want to make sure everyone understands that's going to be a big meeting room on the second floor at the airport today at 1.30. Looking forward to seeing you all there. That's it. Anybody got any questions? The only question I have is what do we charge for time out, please? We don't. The FBO does. Boy, how much they charge? Uh, I think it's 50 a month. 50 a month? Yeah. All uh, right, and the hangar, how much is it a month? Well, the big hangar depends on the size of the aircraft. It's basically um, from tip to tail and wingspan times 35 cents a square foot. 
okay. with a minimum of $300. So Piper Cub, $300. Uh, Learjet might be, uh, depending on which model, might be upwards to 1000 So it's based on square footage. I tell you what, do uh, give us all a copy of those pricing. You already have it, but I'll send it to you again. Okay, yeah, but I don't know where it's at. So it's okay, I'll redistribute it. Yolanda will redistribute it. Right. I forget. And that way, you know, when I talk to people, <coughs> so we give you the local tiger. Yeah, what we've got is we've got an Excel spreadsheet that has all of the popular aircraft types listed and the price. Okay. But the way that price was calculated is based on 35 cents a square foot for the, the length and the width of the aircraft. Okay. But we'll get that to the entire board. Okay. Nice. I noticed Terry. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. But I had a follow up on that. When, when you send that out, does it have the cost related to peers? In other words, who are competitors so that for somebody to That's all public? over the map. So, for no. comparison, if you go to Cedar Town, uh, you get a T hanger, private T hanger for $200 a month. If you go to McCollum, that same tea hanger is going to cost you 450, 400 to 450, depending on who the vendor of the tea hanger is. So it, it's it's really a market driven. But for someone new like myself, is there any way you can include Cedar Town or Bartow so that because it doesn't mean anything to me unless I can compare it against somebody that's somewhat comparable to us, unless that's just totally not. If you don't think that's relevant, well, then don't. It, I will I will quote my predecessor. He said, if you've seen one airport, you've seen one airport. Okay. And the problem is they're all different. Market conditions are all, all <coughs> different. I'll be happy to give you what data that we've got. Um, but these prices were primarily driven um, by doing a comparison of the market, kind okay. of averaging where we are relative to, to the market around us. Because we do compete with all of these airports in our surrounding area to try to attract aircraft to, to our airport. Okay, that's fine, you don't need to do it. Okay. As, and like he says, it's about the market too. If uh, McCollum's out of, out of space, PDK's out of space, so they can, they can pretty well price it. Any price they want to price it, so. All righty. All righty, Jerry, why don't you explain this? The approval to declare phase one of the landing field extension project complete and terminate any further action or budget to this project at this time. Explain that to me. So okay, I'll... this is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to ask you to, to be a little patient. Um, and I'm going to address both of these motions together, okay, because they're interrelated, the first motion and the second motion okay. that you have before you. And you all know all of this, but I want to put it all together in one set of notes so that we understand why we're presenting this motion today. In July of 2013, Baldwin County Airport Authority sold $3.6 million in bonds to fund the construction of the landing field expansion project, which consisted primarily of the taxiway and the runway extension. This project was halted two years ago by the same court settlement that directed the revision to the environmental assessment. So we're still in that, uh, in that settlement period. Approximately 80% of the work is complete, and I now refer to that as phase one of the project. So, side note here, uh, the airport is, is fully functional. There's nothing about the construction that is unsafe. Um, it was left in a completed state up to the point where it was, but there's another 20% or so of the project to be completed at some point in the, in the future in order for the entire project as it was originally envisioned to be finished. And Terry, for the newer members, would you tell them what what remains that 20% yes. then? So it's a little complicated, but the, the visible part of what remains is um, 605 feet of extension to our taxiway. The part that isn't quite as visible is then you have to remark the runway. We have what's called a displaced threshold that ends our runway before you get to the end of the, the concrete. And so that runway would have to be extended in order to take full advantage of our entire 6,005 feet of runway that we actually have paved. Well, that drives an extension to the overrun protection zones. So there's a, uh, a three-dimensional mount around a landing strip that is protected as the aircraft come down. So if somebody can't put a cell tower, for example, right on the end of a runway, okay? And so all of those numbers have to be extended out. So some of that work has been completed, some of it has not. 
Uh, some of that is tied up in, in our environmental assessment. Some of it is remaining to be engineered. So the bottom line is 80% of what has to be done in order for that project to be complete has been accomplished. Okay? Any questions about that? All right. So at the present uh, state, all construction is halted, all of the construction contracts are terminated, and all of the contractors are paid. So we are at a logical break in this construction project. Any future phases of the landing field expansion project will be a new start, meaning that we'll have to update the engineering specifications, we've got to go out and rebid, we're going to have to issue new construction contracts, and we're going to have to sort out our financing to cover whatever work is remaining. The PCAA uh, currently has 5,500, um, excuse me, 559,198 dollars in what we call the bond residual, which is currently being held by Tabitha at the Paulding County Government in trust. These funds can only be used for this project, <coughs> and they should be used uh, within three years of the award date or the sell date of the bonds. So that anniversary is going to be July 30th of next year. So we're, we're inside that 12-month period when these funds could be legitimately used for the purpose that the bonds were sold. The PCAA, as you know, is currently uh, responsible for the repeat repayment of these bonds. Okay? Uh, Paulding County government has covered the last two bond payments because we were unable to <coughs> And we anticipate that the next bond payment in January, uh, which is coming to you in about four months now, is going to arrive with us having insufficient funds in our general operating account to cover that bond payment. I believe that the fiscally responsible action at this time is to declare phase one of the landing field expansion project complete, to return the residual funds to the county to be used to pay down the principal and the interest on the bond issue from which those, those funds originated. The reason for picking the September 15th date is to allow the investment instrument in which the funds currently reside to mature. In other words, we wouldn't want to um, <coughs> sell those treasuries prematurely and lose the interest when we're less than 30 days to go to the end date. The bottom line is this is a good faith effort um, to go back to Paulding County, who is currently having to pay our bond payments that we are responsible for and can't currently pay. And this money really isn't doing us any good. We can't transfer it to our general operating budget. And we're not going to be able to get this project back off the ground before these, these funds ripen. So that's why I'm suggesting these two motions. And you can't do the second motion without first declaring the project to be completed. So that's why you need to do them in the order presented. Any questions? We've talked to Tabitha and she's good with this. Yes. I've talked to Tabitha. I've talked to our lawyer who handled the bond sale. Um, I've talked to my, my person who actually runs the office. And we believe that this is all um, financially sound and the right thing to do. I move to approve the declaration of phase one, complete and terminate any further action on that project. That was done. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Get a motion to approve the return. And that is a good idea, Terry. It really is. Return that money. I make a motion we approve the return of the $559,198 to Paulding County be used to repay the principal and interest on the series 2013 3.6 bonds. Second. Exactly. All in favor? Do I have a question? Okay. What, what is the interest rate on the bonds? I don't know. Safe to say that it's more than what we're earning in this investment. Oh, by law, it has to be. So we're not allowed to sell bonds and then invest them in a higher mm -hmm. interest and essentially make money by bond sales. Yeah, I just want to make sure that got the record. And number two was there's no prepayment or any penalty. It, there is no penalty. We checked on that. There is no prepayment penalty. All right. And let me also say the numbers don't quite match when you look in the financials and you look at these numbers. And the reason is the number I used in this motion is the number after the maturity of the investment that we're in. If you go back and look carefully at your financial statement, you'll see it's about $1,000 difference. And that is the interest that will be present 
on September 15th when this motion would actually take effect. Should it just be correct, should that include more or less? You're absolutely sure of that number. Oh, I'm but absolutely I'm sure. Yeah, I'm to confirm include. that number. That is the number. We know what the maturity date number will be. And again, to be clear, uh, there may be some confusion that people may think we can use this to actually make the payments. We cannot. So what this is going to do is this is going to actually be returned to Hamilton Bank, who sold us or who bought our bonds, and it's going to have the net effect of reducing our outstanding indebtedness. But our January payment will still come due. It will just be at a slightly lower amount now because our outstanding bond indebtedness is lower. So we should not, uh, I, I don't want to represent especially the commissioners uh, who are writing that check now that this somehow covers our payment that we're delinquent on. It does not. But it is a good faith effort to reduce the amount that we owe on that total bond indebtedness. All right. All in favor? Uh, All righty. Moon, the meeting date of next month meeting up one week to September the 14th, 2016. I cannot make that work myself. Okay. I can make the, the week before that work. That's only two weeks from now. Yeah. But if you, uh, what dates are you going to be gone? I'm going for 10 days, starting the 19th. 19th. We could just skip September. Well. You see anything that we'd have to take care of in September coming up? No, I think we've got all of our, our, we've had a busy two months and I think we're caught up. I think we can stand to skip a meeting if that's okay. Okay, and then you got this set up with Tabitha though, on the September 15th date, she'll take care of that. She'll yeah. take care of that, yeah. It's been, all we need is recorded in the minutes that that's been approved and that'll happen. Now. <coughs> right. Yeah, that's the, uh, Exactly right, just a good point, uh, Robert. We have got, we're going to talk about that in closed session. Uh, but, uh, oh, Tom's bringing up a good point. The minutes won't be approved at that point. We would have to have a minute. Oh, I'll tell you what, are we going to have a quorum um, at today's town hall, which is an official call to me? I can't be there either, Jerry. I thought okay. we were I was going to say we could just approve these minutes. We have to have these minutes approved before Tabitha can transfer the money to the county. So maybe we should go ahead and have a meeting in two weeks if that works for us. Well, let's just do that. Let's just pull it out of the way. September 7th. Everybody okay with that? The 7th? Okay. Roberts. All right. All in favor of uh, moving the minute meeting up to September 7th. Need a motion. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor. Aye. All right. All righty. Need a motion to go in closed session to discuss real estate personnel and litigation. Need to go in closed session for real estate personnel and litigation purposes. I'll second. All in favor. Aye. Uh, right. <coughs> I, 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 I move to return to regular session and note that there is no action taken in executive session. All in favor? Aye. All right. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.